Kins, first and foremost, National League security for another year. Describe that feeling to me. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, such a relief. Um, I know how hard the boys and the staff have worked uh, towards this. Um, we knew how important it was before the game, and um, I think we showed that in our mentality in the game. I think that's the main thing, isn't it? It's, you, know, you said it to a couple of fans out there. It's, it's the mentality of the squad. You know, we've got that confidence towards the end of the season, and to put in a performance like we have today simply secured that for us. Yeah, no, mentality is everything. Obviously, we've got good players. Um, you can see that's when we play with confidence. It's, it's just a mentality thing, and I feel that we've probably not listen to the, the Gaffer and Tom's instruction as, as as much as what we did today. We we sort of sat in. Uh, the Gaffer wants us in like a mid block where we press from press from there and we it, people say we sit in, that's down to us. We needed to get higher and I think today we proved that the mid block works and we jumped out of positions to press. It was brilliant. Of course, you know, given the challenges within the game as well, of course you had the meat equalising with the penalty and maybe it wasn't a penalty and things like that. So to overcome that as well just shows how, how far the boys have come this year. Yeah, no, it's the mentality. It all comes down to mentality for me. I think when we went on that run in November, December, it all come down to being hard to beat and that's what we did today. When we counter, there's n there's no one in the in the league that can live with us when we because we've got we've got sprinters. Look at Sinclair Armstrong, look at Jacob, look at Jaden. They're all and Tommy, they're all runners and no one can catch them. That's the note. How does that feel? You've been here for such a long time now, so to, to give the fans ultimately what they deserve or expect from an old shop town to is you know, credit to you. Yeah, no, I've been here a long time now and when I first came here we were in the playoffs and so and we were fighting for something and then I've come here for the last two, three seasons and we're we've been fighting to stay up. So it's been a, a long, hard, hard time here, but I'm happy I'm so happy for the fans because I know how much it means to them. Um, and the chairman, especially what he's gone through the last couple of months. Let's have a note on the fans tonight. Obviously, nearly 2,000 of them here. Great turnout from them. Yeah, no, obviously, I think on Brom uh, the Bromley game, we, we showed fight and, and we needed them today. And they didn't stop singing all game, which is um, credit to them. They, they pushed us through and they always did celebrating at the end. Just seeing all the smiley faces is just one of the best feelings in the world. The three goal scorers today, three young goal scorers, so you know, credit to them and to hopefully push on now with their careers and hopefully with other shot town. Yeah, no, Tommy Tommy has obviously had a hard couple of weeks, but today I thought he was outstanding. I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't win a man of the match. He's got a, an assist and a goal, which I thought he was fantastic. Um, Sinclair Armstrong's goal was different, different gravy. What a goal, <laughs> honestly. I haven't seen anything like him. We looked at the stats on the on the Tuesday game. He ran 38.3 kilometres an hour. I'm, I'm 32 and that's me 100%. That's how fast he is. He's ridiculous. And the goal was outstanding. He's got a, a bright f future ahead of him. It's taken a while for him to get in, but he has made an impact today, hasn't he? Yeah, no, he def definitely. We were 2-1 up and he's come on and he's killed the game off. He's, he just runs. He just runs. I feel that if he physically has everything to, to have a good career, he just needs to probably add the technical side of the game. But the goal was show brilliant technique. But I feel that that's probably where he just needs to improve slightly. And he, he, he's got everything to go to the top. And let's touch on the post-match celebrations as well. You know, fans celebrating all across the ground, even you know, with yourself in this corner as well. Yeah, no, when he ran, I thought I ain't catching him. But I managed to catch him and jump on his back and he just held me like it was nothing. But it is a great celebration. <laughs> it's just a brilliant goal. A brilliant goal, probably one of the best goals I've seen here. So, fair, fair play to him. And after the match as well, all the fans celebrate, you know, it's, you know, the target that we limited to and expect as a minimum. So it's, you know, hopefully push on to next season and see what we can do. Yeah, don't get me wrong. This is not what we want every season. No fan wants this every season and no player wants this every season. But um, we got ourselves in this situation and we showed resilience and hard work to get ourselves out of this situation. So credit to the fans that stuck by us. Um, I know next season the gaffer wants to play a bit more attacking football and he's got a clean clean slate um, and it's exciting times for the Aldershot Football Club. How does that really feel for you? Now, obviously, we've got, you know, two or, yeah, two or three more games now to hopefully you know, express ourselves a bit more and hopefully build on next season. Yeah, like I said to Rob up there, um, we're not going to sit on, sit on our laurels now. We, we've got players that are out of contract, me, me included. Um, people got to earn contracts. People, if, there's, if it's not here, then they've got to earn them elsewhere. So if any player takes their foot off the gas, then it's, it's down to them and it's their own fault. But we're here to win games and, and get as high up in the table and earn contracts for next year. Next Monday, men head away. You know, always a great game to go and play a game of football for, and our fans as well always travel in great numbers. Yeah, brilliant. I think last last season, or well, not last season, one of the seasons, I think we took nearly seven, eight hundred, which is which is brilliant. Um, and yeah, it's not it's not a great place to play football because there's a big hill and the, the pitch is horrendous. I think I've been injured there twice, but um, yeah, no, it's for the for the travelling, it's a, it's a brilliant game, and I think we out we out out sing them every time we're there so it'll be a hard game we know what you get with Van Devonshire side but um, we'll go there rest up tomorrow and, and go there with full spirit
Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.